family, you tapped into the DOA TBM. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content and updates. Shit. This one's so groovy, baby. But Kanye, you know, I, I, I commend, I commend dude. I commend him. Because what they didn't want to see was he is what he is a reflection of what the racist white people in America didn't want to see. A black man with money. You notice, soon as he said, I'm the first black billionaire, his shit fell apart like a bad burrito. Why though? Why are you that mad? He did the people that went against him, these companies, he didn't make their money. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? They did, they could talk about black people all day. This, that, black people, this, we this, we that, niggers, this, this, all this whole type of stuff. But as soon as he says something, it's anti-Semitic. It's whack. Double standard. Yeah, I mean, some people, they feel he was being uncouth and braggadocious in terms of, um, I guess, speaking on his, you know, how much money and stuff he's worth. And, you know, sometimes when you're playing with these kind of big people in these industries and stuff, the same people who give you the money are the ones that can take it from you and stuff as well. So uh, mm -hmm. I think that was an illustration with now some of the deals that he had, because a lot of the times when they calculate those things, it's based on projections and stuff and how much you're, in, you know, you're inclined to make a certain period of time and stuff. So uh, I guess with a lot of people pulling out from them um, subsequently, that they just want as to you said, it was, it was a quick it was definitely a they just wanted to prove a point. That's all it was. They wanted to prove that point. They wanted to make him an example to show they, they I don't know if they they did it for a, a overall to show black people, or they was just really just focusing upon him. You know what I'm saying? Like to show to show black people or to show people well, like I mean, he's I think, an example. I'd say, I'd say it's definitely focused on him because. At the same time, you know, what he does does have a bearing to a degree on, you know, the wider community, but it's him alone that's making those choices and actions, and it's him alone that it's going to affect. I mean, even financially, it's not going to affect other Black people within the community because they're not tied in with him, in a sense, financially. It's not really going to affect their day-to-day -day life and stuff. Now, some may say it may be sending a message to say, you know, don't get out of line and stuff, but then a lot of people, including Black people, do feel as though when guys are at that position, they should tread more carefully in a sense or maybe not say certain things. So I guess it's one of those debates. We did recently see him call out Jay-Z and other celebrities and say that he feels as though they won't open their mouth when it comes to certain things. But some people say they feel he's just being a big mouth at the same time when it, for his own um, purposes or reasons, which I guess we don't know. Only he would know, but... One thing's for sure, he doesn't seem to be showing any signs of slowing down or letting up on how he feels and his position. And there's a lot of people out there that do support him for that and will continue to. Yeah, man, I mean, you can't be a puppet all your life. I mean, you're going to get the money. You, you, you'll get the money. They're going to allow you to get the money. You know, I don't feel like, you know what, um, to keep it 100, man, to keep it all the way 100, when this shit popped off with Kanye and the Jews, it really surprised me because growing up all my life, I was always told that like the Jewish people were like the black people of white people. You understand? Like the Jews were like, they went through the Holocaust. They went through all that same as black people. You know what I'm saying? And so in business, that's why black people and Jewish people would always combine and connect with each other because we similar went through the same things you know what i'm saying we was always taught like don't get with the white people white people because they're gonna fuck you you understand but if you're gonna get with some white people to run your business or help you do business get get you a jew boy that's what i was always taught and, and told so when this shit popped off i was like i don't understand it they should understand but I, that's why that's why the point that you just made it made a lot of sense because you was just like, they really focused it upon him and his thing of his way of thinking and, and the things that he is saying. 
less known over black people over on, on, on overall they're ta- they just really focusing upon him and some of the things that he's saying you know what i mean but as then then when they say it to him like they, they put him through these situations then he puts some black shit out like because 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 he's black so then we we get automatically feel a certain type of way like you know what i'm saying like the jews is but i don't i don't have no problem against the jews i don't have no problem against them because they was the people that we used to go get money with you know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't understand where all this is coming from. Yeah. Um, and, and I think I we're think, just defending Kanye because he's black. We defending yeah. him because he's black. Well, there, there is a lot of that, and I feel as you said. Um, I mean, not to get too political, but the claim of anti-Semitism is what it represents or means is people showing a dislike for for that particular community, but. I mean, it's one thing, I guess, giving commentary or criticizing. There's nobody that's above reproach or criticism in the right aspects. But when communities feel like they're being targeted and stuff like that. Now, I'm not here to play the um the blame game or, oh, they did this, so we did that, or they do that, so we did this. So one thing is, I think people in those positions, they do got to be careful because I'm not saying it like you got to bow down to anybody or you've got to... Um, but you gotta know where your bread's buttered at the same time in some in some ways. And um, Kanye, he's been with the Kardashians, he's been with, you know, many white people and white communities and stuff, not just Jewish, you know, he's promoted the White Lives Matter and stuff. He he's very smart and intelligent enough to understand the types of people and communities in the world of business and stuff. So I guess if it's something he feels he wants to go vocal with in this kind of way and manner. For us, we have to listen and see how it unfolds, but not to necessarily um, blindly follow him or martyr him like I guess a lot of people are doing in the situation as well. But we got to be open to hear where he's coming from and check out all sides of the argument is what I believe. Yeah, man, we don't stand for something. I, I, like I said, I, I commend him because he said what he said, said it, meant it, and here to represent it. You know what I'm saying? So um, you got to respect that, especially in these times to where, you know, when somebody says something about black people, we get upset about it. We say something back about it, but we don't have enough resources like the Jews to like, you know, that's why I said the Jews got their Holocaust. They got their money from their Holocaust. That's why I say they should give black people their reparations give black people their reparations. I don't know why they don't want to. It's going to go back to the white man anyway. You know, black people are going to go by with the biggest consumers of, of, of clothes and and, and and all the, the, the stuff that, that makes this this world go around. You understand? Um, another another point that I was just saying too, like when this, when this four years is up and, and it's time to, to, re, uh, to re-elect and all that, this time, when it's time for us to vote, we don't vote unless we get some paper. I, I feel like that's the only way that we're gonna get we're gonna get our, our way is the fact of of black people, all black people in the world, Europe, UK, everywhere. If all black people, when it comes to this election that's gonna come up soon, when it comes up to this shit, black people don't don't vote because it never it doesn't benefit us anyway. You understand? Look, it's like a slap in the face what they doing to Kanye. You understand? So it's like, why go vote? It doesn't, it doesn't, we don't get anything from it. Never out of all the presidents, we don't never get nothing from it, including Obama. You know, Obama can only do so much because he was under the scope. So I just feel like when this election comes up and it's time to vote, we'll see at the polls. Just like they take tell us every year you want to change some shit, y'all go to the polls, go vote, go change some shit, but it never happens. So let's see what's gonna happen if we don't vote. Every black person in the world, if you're mixed. You got a white mama, you got a white daddy, whatever, and you got a black, and you black. That's what it is. You shouldn't vote unless you get your paper. Okay, then we hear it from Floss. I mean, guys, do let us know your thoughts in the comments. We know that this is a polarizing topic. A lot of people have different vantage points of looking at it, but be respectful. That's all we ask. You know, don't insult anybody. No point saying anything out of poor taste on purpose, which, you know, some people are out there doing. We continue to be respectful and continue to have dialogue that can help us all learn new things, move forward, and grow. Right, right. Love each other. Start the loving. Stop the hating. Get together. That's what America is about. No matter what creed or color or or, or background, ethnicity, whatever, 
that you are everybody is on one accord to be free not to 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 uh demean people or, or what color they can't help what color they are they can't help with you know what i'm saying like leave people alone let's let's start the loving and stop the hating that's all i gotta say yeah that's the best testament right there so with that being said we're gonna wind down on this one we're gonna be back in the week chiming in with some more updates we hope everybody has enjoyed the weekend and had a good positive weekend and stuff thanks for everybody listening do take care your boy fancy los angeles representing back to online.com hey oh, oh oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i did want to say one more thing rest in peace to nipsey hustle's grandmother i forgot to say that rest in peace queen <laughs>